Okay, so we have uh, number 41 from the SAT2 math. Could be an ACT problem. Uh, working together, part two, number 41 on the test says that Claire can complete a spring cleaning uh, job in five hours. That's working alone. Ruth can complete the same job in seven hours. And if Claire works for one hour alone, so she has a head start, works by herself for one hour, and then Ruth joins her to finish the cleaning. What is the total, what is the total time that it takes to complete the spring cleaning? Well, first of all, since Claire got a head start and she worked for one hour, and in five hours she would have done the whole job by herself, she already did 20% of the work. So that means that there's 80% of the work that's left. That's how much they're going to work together, this 80%. So working together, we're going to use this formula that we saw in part one. It's going to be the product over the sum, 5 times 7 divided by 5 plus 7, and that's going to be 35 over 12. That's how long it takes, 35 over 12 hours working together to complete the job. But you only need 80% of that because that's how much they need since they have 80% of the job left. If we change this into minutes, there's 60 minutes per hour. 12 into 60 is 5, and 4 fifths of 5 is 4. 35 times 4 is 140 minutes. That's how long it takes to finish the 80% of the job. Well, we know there's 120 minutes for two hours, so you have 20 minutes and two hours, okay? And that's 80% of the job. So some students will be quick to pick answer B, but that's incorrect. The answer is not two hours and 20 minutes. Why? You have to add one hour because remember that Claire already work for one hour and you want to find the total time so if you add one hour to that you'll have three hours and 20 minutes and that was the correct answer for this problem